it used to be when you set up a business that operated in a geographical area, the first thing you'd do to market your company would be to get listed in, in the UK, what we know as the Yellow Pages. And that was a great way to get business. People look through the Yellow Pages. If they're looking for a plumber, they went to the plumber section. If they were looking for an electrician, they'd go to the electrician centre. If they were looking for an auto repair garage, they'd look under the garages section. But nowadays, people do those kind of searches online. And the Yellow Pages, although still important with websites like Yell.com and Yelp, it's increasingly Google Local that is the directory that you need to make sure your site's listed in. So to give you an example, I'm on google.co.uk here. I'm going to search for a Brighton photographer. And you see in the results here, you have Google Local listings. And this is really significant in natural search because it used to be you wanted to be in number one place. Number one now is actually on my little um, MacBook screen, almost below the fold. So you need to be in these results. And a lot of people don't know how you go about getting one of those local listings. There's lots of things you can do to ensure you rank highly in them, but actually getting a place on them isn't that difficult. So if I go through the process with you, I'll take you through how to create a Google local listing for your small business. So first of all, you need to go to google.com forward slash local forward slash ad. All this stuff after the ad, the business at center, is just tracking stuff. So if you can take that off and just go to the page, they'll just put whatever they want in there. I'm already signed into my um, Google account, but if you don't have a Google account, you will need to create one to get this listing. So then literally, the screen might vary depending on the interface you've got, but there will always be a add new listing button. So if you hit that, it will take you through to a page where you start to put in your details. So I'm going to list our internet marketing podcast in the Google Local Resistings. So I drop down and we're based in the United Kingdom. So I am going to call it Internet Marketing Podcast. I'm going to pop in my postcode first and you'll see that this will bring down on the map on the left hand side whereabouts we are on the map. So that's showing that that's in the right place there. Filling in the details. You can put in your phone number there as well, which is important. Your email address. So I'm just going to put info at the site visibility. Your website address. So I'm going to put in the address of the podcast. And your description. It's an important when you're putting these details in, particularly in the description categories, to try and think about the keywords people will use to describe you. So if you are a printing company, call yourself a printing company. Don't say you're a... Um, media solutions company or whatever it is you might use that are words that are jargony so you then put in the keywords that you want to put in so um, I might actually see if there's radio because there's not really a, a great one for um, podcasts and the like and you can choose as many categories as you like there, but I'm going to get rid of that one there. So you then hit the next step. Also, at this point, it's worth checking on the map that it's the right location. Um, Google Maps don't always get it right. Um, and if someone's following your Google local listing to drive to see you or to pop in and that's in the wrong place, that's really bad. But if you go to fix the incorrect marker, it'll allow you to move it to wherever it is. So I'm just going to hit the next tab there. Doesn't like what I've put in. Oh, I've made a mistake in the phone number. So I've changed it there to what it should be. And hit next again. So if you have any problems with what you input there and it's not what it's expecting, it will tell you. Um, it then says, are you already listed on Google Maps? And this is showing other companies with similar phone numbers 
i.e. the names of the companies that share the building with me, so site visibility, who I work for. I've got two listings here, and Academy Internet, the company who used to work here. But no, none of those are what I want to. I, I want to go for me specifically, so I'm going to go add listing. And then you can put in more information like hours of operation. So that's quite good if you only don't open on a Sunday or don't open on a Wednesday. Um, I'm not going to put any in because it's not relevant. Um, you've got your payment options. Increasingly, um, Google might show these results up in the local. So it's worth putting what you can put in there. Photos are really good to try and include in your listings. I've not really got any for the podcast I can upload easily, but if you can at least go outside the front of your shop or your business and take a photo, I would recommend it because it is really good at increasing the click-through rates when your result is triggered in Google Local. When your result is triggered in Google Local, you can put up to ten images in as well, and increasingly you can put um, video in as well. And because Google love websites they own, if you can put it on YouTube, that'll do even better. And then you've got additional details like parking available, brands carried, anything else you want to add. But I'm going to leave all those blank for this example. Then you have to validate your listing. There's a couple of ways that you can do this. You can either do it by phone and then an automated machine will call the phone number you've got in the advert and give you a um, digital, like a, a number reference. Or you can do it via SMS or postcard and each of them have their own pros and cons. The phone is great if you can answer the phone straight away. SMS is good, but you then need to have your mobile number on the listing, and postcards, they don't always arrive. But I'm gonna go with the postcard option just because I like receiving post. And that'll then put Kelvin Newman, so I put my name in as the contact details. So literally, if I hit finish there, it will take me through the process. Now what happens is, in a couple of days time, I'll receive a postcard which will have a reference on it and at this stage here you can always go and reset it again. It also gives you some nice coupons I think for AdWords, yeah so you can pay for AdWords and the like there. Um, I don't know, you can add a coupon so if you've got a discount for people on Google Local. But when the listing comes through you have to go back to your google.com forward slash local forward slash ad and scroll down to the particular listing I've got internet marketing when my pin comes through I will put it in so it's one two three four five and hit go that would then confirm my listing and make it appear in the results as it happens that's a completely made up pin so that won't work but that's exactly how you would create your own Google local listings